Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And today's video, oh my god, is so amazing. So many new things are coming to Wild Rift. So I'm gonna watch this video with you guys and I'm gonna talk about the changes. I'm gonna give my opinions on it and I'm gonna really tell you, like I'm gonna explain everything because I've also dug into more, you know, I've dug into leaks and everything like that. So I know exactly what's going on. So let's get into the video, guys. There's so much. Look at hey this. Hey everyone, welcome to the Dev Diary. Oh, I turned on subtitles, by the way, I'm because James I will be talking and I want to give you a peek into the stuff coming talking. to Wild Rift over Wait, the next couple of months. A little bit. Today, we're so you can actually hear me harder. New champions, um, some amazing skins, yes, so you can read the, 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 the subtitles in case I'm talking through her. So let's already already pause the video. Play Wild Rift. So stick around. This is our Wait. biggest patch yet. Let's already pause champions, the video because there is some something very, very interesting that's already happening, which is this. Look at this, guys. Set your position preference before you get into a ranked match. There is going to be a way to choose a role. Like you can say, I'm a jungler, I want to get jungler. So you get into a match as a jungler, or you can get into a match as a top laner. America, guys, it is coming out in America. This is so exciting for the American players. Finally, going to be able to play with no lag. To get you caught up to speed, we're introducing and um, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to this real quick. Yeah, I don't want to waste your time. Uh, basically, they're gonna make an event, course, as you can see, which is gonna give you rewards very fast if you're in America. So you know, it's like you'll get you'll get skins and heroes very fast. Very soon, and this we'll is also not interesting. Up. Arabic support, um, Arabic people are gonna get support in game, so you can actually call Wild riot devs and talk chains. to them. Not, not call, email them in game. That's what I mean. Sorry. Many monstrous types. And they're bringing so out a lot of new champions. Find out who's coming next. Let's watch. Galio. This champion looks damn badass. Look at this guy. So beautiful. Wait, my face is actually covering up the names. I'm sorry. But look at this. What do you think this is going to be, guys? By the way. By the way. After watching this video, let me know in the comments what is the most exciting thing that you think will be coming out. What what, what is going to be the most exciting thing for me will be at like minute 6 in this video. So I won't say it already. I'll say it later. And look at this champion, Remus. Look at this champion, guys. Oh my god. Imagine, imagine ganking with this champion. Look at how beautiful it looks. This is definitely a jungler, Remus. Kha'Zix. This looks like an assassin to me. This, this is 100% an assassin, right? He just looks like a Z. He, lo he looks like the brother of Z or something. Rengar. Whoa. This guy looks badass. Look at him. Look at look at my face on top of this guy. Like. Okay, sorry. I went a little too far. He looks damn badass. You do not want to mess with this guy. What? He just one shot at the jinx. <laughs> Renekton. A badass crocodile as well. So he's against a tank here, a tanky Garen, and he just half lifes the Garen and kills him instantly. Wow. This is also not interesting, so I'm gonna skip this out. Basically, a new event where you do 1v1s, but it's not interesting. It's as really not interesting. This year, we're looking to flesh out Wild Rift's items. They're adding items and they're changing items. items, and I'll be explaining to you exactly how that's gonna work. Icons, so they more closely match the ones only. Because some of these items Let's got dive. leaked. Which we're adding is, frozen heart. So they're adding frozen heart. They're not showing the description of it, but what frozen heart is gonna do is it's gonna create a frozen aura around you. And if you're like close to the enemies, um, the aura is gonna slow their attack speed. So when like let's say you're playing Alistar and you have get this item frozen aura, you can dive into the enemies, stay like make sure you stay next to the enemy ADC to slow the attack heart, speed. That's what this item nature. does. So about this item. I'm actually not sure what it does. I don't really remember exactly what it was, but I remember that they're also adding an item that is going to provide you full cooldown reduction. So an item mainly focused on cooldown reduction, understood? Like it's probably going to give you like 40% 40, 40 ability haste or maybe even 50% ability haste. I think this is that item. Sunfire Aegis to help flesh out the item pool for tank players. This item is also going to be like, it's going to be like Sunfire Cape, but a little different. I don't exactly remember what it does again, but basically they're adding a lot of tank items. They're changing up the tanky item and they're adding a lot of cool new things to tank. Sapphire Crystal. Now Look at this. This is a huge change. Do you, you guys know what Tear of Goddess does, right? It's the, it's the mana item that allows you to charge up mana up to 700 mana. So what they're doing now is they're, they're 
adding this passive to Sapphire Crystal. So Sapphire Crystal is not only going to give you max mana, it's going to allow you to charge up 250 bonus mana. Now, this is huge. This is a huge change because, like, let's think about Orianna. The way that you want to build Orianna now, after this item, is you just build a Sapphire Crystal and then you can go for Leandris, Rabadon's Deathcap, everything. So only 500 gold is going to give you enough mana to play the game. Has which is huge guys one. this is huge so you can stack earlier and look at this he only has a sapphire and crystal and he's char he's stacking up the the tier of goddess sheen no longer builds out a sapphire. and sheen which is one of my favorite items doesn't have mana anymore so it, it doesn't build out of mana as you can see it costs 900 gold now which is a little cheaper than what it costs right now so this is going to be really really good for champions like darius nasus and other champions that need sheen but don't need mana you can just buy the sheen for 900 gold now Sapphire not crystal. i think now it's like 1100 or 1200 even making it a more accessible choice to non-mana users outside of items the summoner spell ghost was a yes and look at this this is huge the summoner spell ghost um listen to what so she's gonna say then i'll explain she again has. she now be stronger and more fun to use its top speed is reduced but the buff lasts longer now and okay first of all the top speed is reduced but it lasts longer so you're gonna have ghost movement speed for a little longer and the next part is the important part listen closely on takedown your speed boost will be reapplied on takedowns your speed boost will reapply so let's say you're playing darius you use ghost you d you slam dunk an enemy with your enemy it's gonna you know it's gonna reset you're gonna get the ghost again so this is huge in team fights imagine using ghost with darius getting kills and keep like keep getting the bonus movement speed like look at how fast the, the cinched is look at this just look he just used ghost he's incredibly fast just look he's able to chase everyone and imagine this on darius or even nasus you can literally run down the enemy or even olaf finally we're changing the way champions play with higher Okay, this is also a very important part. Right now, stacking a bunch of attack speed basically makes you feel like you have no... Okay, basically, I'm going to explain to you real quickly. Um, for example, when you're playing Jinx, it's it's meta right now to spam attack speed. Like Blade of the Rune King, all the other attack speed items. And all you got to do is spam your attack ability. You can run away from the enemy and just spam your attack. Like as you can see in the Wind clip here, she, um, Varus is able to run away and just basic attack the Shivan all person. the time. We're adjusting this so it's not so forgiving. We'll be keeping so, an eye on win rates. What they're doing now is they're going to make it a little harder to do that. Like, um, um, it, it will actually take some time to charge up your basic attack now. So it's going to take a little longer, you know. You cannot spam it anymore. Um, like, if you're running and clicking, it's, like, it's going to make you way slower now. It's basically like, it's going to make it a little better, you know. Right now, it's kind of a no-brainer uh, to just spam your basic attacks, you know. Anyway. Okay, quality of life features. These are features that Over are just gonna, months, you know, improve the game for you, make you enjoy it a lot more. You want to see in the game. We've heard you, and we're adding some features. To and make these are so amazing. Better. You guys have to see them. We're adding new pings to give you a way to say. Oh my god, these are my favorites. They're adding new pings, and look at this ping: enemy missing. You can enemy ping missing. it and say enemy missing so you don't have to go on the map and say exactly which enemy is missing you can easily just ping enemy is missing An enemy has vision and this one is my favorite this one is my favorite you can you can ping here. that the enemy has vision here look enemy ward nearby wow this is huge so when your jungler wants to gank your lane before he ganks you can tell him enemy has a ward here so he can be careful of the ward this is For huge guys this is huge huge you can now tune the dead zones on your ability buttons these are if some changes the that zone, they're doing to the clearing, settings really not relevant to be honest oh this one is relevant however you can choose to hide names in game now or you can choose to um um either hide them or make it the champion names that's that's what i was trying to say some people don't like it to see other people's names you know they just want to focus on the game and not on seeing names so this is really really nice for you guys out there and here is the position preference guys this is an amazing change really really amazing more control over the position you play in game we're going to be running a short test for a feature we're calling position positioning preference, preference. again here you can choose jungle support solo mid Game. and you can even choose duo lane so look at this look at this when you are playing with an um when you're playing duo queue with your friends and you're playing duo lane um actually i think they meant dragon lane here but it would be very nice to have a, to have another one here Position to 
to for like duo key players, value. right? So you can actually choose support and bot lane both. You're most interested in, and the matchmaker will try to assign you one of your preferred positions in the lobby. Oh, they, it's duo lane because it's dragon lane with. Uh, actually, I don't really you understand don't why they called it duo lane. It's supposed to be dragon. Want to pick lane. manually? We'll look back at your recent history. And so you'll find a separate queue in the rank tab. Yeah, basically they're gonna test it out now. Um, they're gonna make a, a normal ranked queue. This is they're gonna bring this out in a few days or weeks. There's gonna be a normal ranked queue and a separate role selection queue. They're just gonna test out how it works. So you're gonna see it very soon in game as well, like the role selection. For anyone who wants to help us test, yes, so you can help them test, right? Iterating on the system. This test won't be available in the of America. Of course, they're yet. not gonna make it available in America yet because the game is gonna be new. But we'll be sure to keep. This new skins guys the okay first to wild Rift skin line he, called Star here is gonna be the part where my where the thing is gonna come out which i am the most excited of so let's watch first of all look at these skins Archivist look at camille beautiful skin by studying the stars so amazing joining the roster are camille i'm giving uh, it's funny because i'm giving away five skins this uh this month yeah you need to put down a comment right to enter the giveaway and um, it's gonna be pretty sad if i give away all the skins before this update comes out but you know i'm gonna do it anyways i'll just give away five more skins or maybe even more depends on you know Twisted how much fate. income i have because <laughs> it's kind of expensive to give away skins you guys don't really know but Soraka. it's kind of expensive but we'll wait, a small in -game event to you guys tomorrow. have to see course, the next skin, you, you have to see it, okay? Look at, some other skins look at this, look at this. Oh my god, it's a Darius skin, look at this. Oh, it's so good. Oh, God King Darius. Call him the Devil King, guys. Call him the damn Devil King. Look at how badass he looks. Look at how badass he looks. Oh my god! Ah, so good! Blood Moon Cannon is all, but the Darius skin, wow! What is this skin? Corgi? Corgi? Corky? It's a Corky on a dog, what? <laughs> what is this skin, man? Draven, Draven, are you kidding me? Whoa, this looks badass as well. Let's put my camera here again. These skins are badass. Wow. Red crocodile instead of green. And this is also something very exciting. You need to look at this. Later in the patch, we're introducing the wild pass. A way to get more stuff just for playing. Here's how it Like works. a, um, a, a battle pass. pass you know, in Call of Duty, a battle pass, Leveling a brawl pass, and brawl stars. Rewarding you with skins. Currencies. Basically, icons. I'm going to explain this all short. You level up. You get missions, you level up, and when you level up, you'll get the rewards. Okay? That's basically what it is. Explorer Jax. To show the world like how she, far she you explains come. to you everything, uh, how it works. It's really not there. interesting. There are some extra bonus rewards to help you add more content to your collection. Yeah, like as Let you can see, you'll get you rewards. When it rolls out at the start of Wild Rift's second rank season. Finally, starting this patch. Actually, there's something the that wild. I did miss. Here, this is what I missed. Um, there's going to be a free Wild Pass and a paid one now here it shows that it's 400 wild course which which is like five dollars i don't think they're gonna make it this cheap however i think it's gonna be like i think it's gonna be 999 wild course because in every game it's like ten dollars but we'll see it would be amazing if it stays at 400 wild course because this is very very cheap pass elite aram guys they're bringing out aram which which is all random all mid what is this? This is basically five versus five in one lane. You guys have to see this. Look at this. From League of Legends. That's right. All random, all, random, all mid, all mid or Aram. Or Aram. On his way. So starting soon, Imagine how good Zix is going to be here. Yeah, look, like there is one lane. Also. There is one lane. For those of and you there's going to be five Aram. versus five in Shorter, one lane. Faster paced game mode set on the Howling Abyss. A bridge atop a bottomless crevasse where warriors once fought to defend the rest of the Freljord from an Look at this, enemy. You're, you're fighting Compared as a 5v5. Lanes, in Aram, there's only one. And instead of picking your champion, you're assigned a random one from your pool. Yes, you of get course, a random champion like and you play mid. That's you that's how it works. I think this is really amazing to play to with friends. This is so good. I, I think I'm really gonna do some events with my YouTube subscribers here. You know, we're gonna do like ARAM with viewers. So There's fun. Also a new I can't wait. Summoner spell called Mark Dash. And this is also a, th a thing which is huge. A new summoner spell which is Snowball. And look at how it works. Arc, look. To throw a snowball at your you throw a snowball at the enemy. Enemies. And you can click on it again to dash to the enemy. Basically, Lee Sin's first ability. You basically have Lee Sin's first ability. And Similar even she says Lee it. Lee Sin's first ability. How good is this gonna be? 
how good so imagine i'm gonna tell you like let you imagine how good this can be let's say you're playing darius and you're hitting the enemy super hard and you make them flash away you know they're trying to escape what can you do you can throw your snowball at the enemy after they flashed away because it's incredibly fast like look at how fast the snowball is look use mark to throw a snowball at your enemies I mean, it's not that fast, but if an enemy flashes away, you should be able to automatically hit them if you immediately cast the snowball. There, it's going to be insanely hard to dodge. You can do you can dash to them, and then you can still it's kill them, even though they flashed away. To Beeson's first ability. Melee fighters and tanks can use this to instantly get the party started. Yeah, look at this. You now can engage with the snowball. Not everything is going to be balanced or How polished, good is this? So we'll need a lot of feedback to make this a better experience. Also, yeah, I don't think this is going to be balanced. <laughs> we're releasing without support for some features like ARAM specific loadouts so that we can get your feedback on the gameplay sooner. Oh my We've god, there is so much, guys. There's so mode, much. Please let me know in the comments what you're most excited of and what your thoughts are on that's everything that's coming diary. out. Please let, let us know, know what else guys. you want to see. Enjoy patching. Let us know what else. I mean, what else do you have for us to see? What else do you have for us to see? So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you guys are look also looking forward to this patch. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all. By the way, don't forget to like. You know, if you watch till this part, make sure to like. And I will see you all in the next Wild Drift video. Bye-bye.